What's up guys? So I wanted to make this little update video just to let you guys know uh, where I'm at because I haven't been, I haven't shown my face. I haven't been on here for for a few days. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that uh, I've been struggling a lot with my um, editing program, which is iMovie 11. It's always giving me problems with uh, audio syncing, like when I record something. Um, especially when I record off the webcam and I mean sometimes a lot of times I just record I go ahead and record off the webcam because it's not that bad of quality um, but I record straight into iMovie and it records um, my audio out of sync um, and like really bad like maybe three or four seconds out of sync I mean usually my footage is very long and then I cut it up so it's so hard for me to be doing this because it just takes forever. I've seriously been working on this video for three days. I'm still gonna keep at it, but it's probably that video is probably not gonna come out um, for maybe maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Hopefully, but you're probably gonna be getting more Dark Souls stuff because that there's no problem there. I don't have to worry about syncing the audio to my lips. Anyways, that's enough for that that stuff. What I really wanted to talk about, though, was something very important. I really appreciate all of your guys' support on King of the Web. It means so much to me. I mean, I'm sure you guys could imagine. For those of you that don't know, every th if I were to win King of the Web, um, it would all go to a medical procedure that my mom needs very, very fast. Like, she needs ASAP. And the reason why she needs ASAP is because she had to stop her other treatments in order to get this treatment done. And her other treatments that she t stopped, one of them is her cancer treatment. Um, they could not do the work that they needed to with her still on that treatment. So right now she's pretty much defenseless. She's on, she doesn't have the treatments that, that, that make her stronger or to, that make her feel better. She doesn't have those because she has to get this other treatment done. It's a tough spot to be in because, um, it's like, oh, well, screw it. Just don't get that other treatment. Whatever. No, it's it, we really don't have that option. She needs it. I don't really like to talk about this stuff because it makes people feel sad sometimes. And it's just like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I, I, I really appreciate that, but I feel bad making others feel sad. Like, that's not my thing. Like, I really like to make people laugh and I like to entertain people. Um, so that's why I really don't talk about this stuff. But since you guys are, are helping me out, you guys are supporting me, and... Um, I'm also moving on to a plan B, which really involves your guys' help. Um, I, I think I should explain some stuff. The treatment that she needs, that she had this, the reason why she had to stop these other treatments were for her teeth. Her teeth are absolutely just falling apart. They are breaking apart. Um, and the reason why, it's not because of oral hygiene. It's because of her treatments, her cancer treatments. Cancer treatments are extremely brutal on the teeth and on the mouth. So she has a lot of problems with the mouth. Um, not only her teeth, but everything. She has infections and she has... It's just its just really bad, her mouth. It's really hard for her to eat. But it's, it's worse because her teeth are constantly breaking and it's really hard for her to eat now. So we want to get this done. And the re they were like... The dentist or the, the oral surgeon was like, you need to stop the, your, your cancer treatment because I can't proceed because it could damage your jaw like very badly. It could deform it. If I, if I proceed with you on that treatment. So we had to stop it. She had to stop it for at least three months. Three months without that. Without that protection. Um, it, it was a huge risk. It is a huge risk. But it's something that she needs. She needs to resolve the problem with her teeth. Because she can't eat. Um, and because of the infections. And her teeth are falling apart. They might even have to remove all her teeth whatever as long as she's 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 all for it as long as they fix it i'm sure you can imagine that's going to be a lot of money i don't know exactly how much but i know it's going to be a lot and it's not covered by her insurance which is stupid especially when it has to do when it doesn't have to do with oral hygiene or with um freaking aesthetics you know i want my teeth to be perfect no it has to do with medical conditions and it's just like are you freaking kidding me but anyways so that's why I was I continued with King of the Web because I was like, okay, I already I already um, qualified for Battle Royale. Let's just see where I fall into place here. Uh, I'm I'm gonna fight for it. Let's see w what happens. Um, so that's what I did. But now that I know where I stand on King of the Web, there's pretty much no way I could win. I could win 
The only way I could win King of the Web is if I get some huge shout out from this huge YouTuber. That's the only way because that's pretty much what King of Web is about, sadly. It's a, it's not about competition anymore. It's about who you know or who is willing to support you as in like big huge YouTubers. Everybody that wants to win, they just go and like beg some big huge YouTuber just to give them a shout out. And I think that's stupid. It's like, are you freaking kidding me? You know, you should freaking campaign yourself and fight for it yourself with your supporters, with your subscribers, and not have to like be begging big huge YouTubers to 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 give you a shout out because without them, you seriously would probably be like at number nine if you were to be lucky. I think the system's broken. I don't I don't think King of the Web functions very well. Um, I think they have a good idea behind it, you know, especially because you could donate to, like, charity and all that, and they make it simple for you to do that, and I think that's awesome. Um, a lot of money has gone to, the, to charity because of King of the Web and because of the people that have won, so that's cool. But um, especially for Battle Royale, I think it's it should, it sh the, 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 the rules should have changed. They should be different. They should have been different. The whole daily thing, I think, is just not a good idea. You've got Tier 1 and you've got Tier 2. Tier 2 is right now. That's us. And now, Tier 2 is just people that qualified that made it, um, like, in the top 25 for past King of the Webs. So it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people that are pretty good and some people that are, are not that, that good. You know, we've got a lot of Joe Schmoes right now and um, some people that are uh, pretty good, right? But not, like, ginormous YouTubers that have, like, millions of votes, like PewDiePie. PewDiePie qualified for Tier 1. Um, or Total Biscuit is in uh, is in uh, Tier 1. My point is, in Tier 2, it was, seriously, it's like we're all going up against this huge YouTuber. It's like we were thrown in to Tier 1. To, to Like, somehow we're gonna make it. Somehow we're gonna be able to surpass this huge YouTuber because somebody... Um, now, I'm not gonna point fingers or anything. I'm not gonna name names or anything. But I'm just talking in general. The, the system. Um, because somebody gets a shout out from this huge YouTuber and everybody, all the subscribers from that YouTuber, uh, will go and vote for this, this other person, this smaller YouTuber. And they're winning constantly, every daily, every daily. There's no competition. Everybody that's there, that's campaigning themselves, that is, is getting the support from their people, um, is just like, oh, sorry guys, you guys should probably like go beg Tobuscus or something. Which I actually did. I was like, you know what? Screw it. They want to play like this, I'm going to play like this. So I sent a message to Tobuscus and I sent another message to PewDiePie. They didn't respond, obviously, so I was like, screw it, forget it, you know, whatever. So I was like, forget it, I don't play like this. This is just stupid. It's, it's just, it's not fair, I think. And it really... It really takes away from the competition, and it really takes away from the idea and the point of it all. Especially when it comes to Battle Royale. It's just like... It, it's very demoralizing, because it's like, this person, or whoever is going to win, and they're going to win because of... Not because of what they're doing, but because of some shout-out that they got from some huge YouTuber... Really? They're going to win because of this other person? Because... They're gonna win not because of what they did. I mean, I mean, if it was to support some kind of huge charity where it's like I'm gonna give if I win King of the Web, I'm gonna I'm gonna give 100% to charity. I'd be like, all right, whatever, whatever. This person's gonna win. They're gonna do a good cause. They're gonna the money's gonna go to a good cause. But when it's like, oh yeah, I got money. I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna have more money. It's like. Where are where are the priorities really? Like, oh my god. It's just super frustrating. So I'm I'm really I'm so done with it. I really appreciate you guys um supporting me and voting for me. It really means a lot. The milestone uh rewards that I have on my uh, on there that I was going to give that I was going to do videos if I reached a specific amount of earned votes. I'm still going to do those. I'm going to do all the milestones just to, you know, just to show my appreciation to you guys for supporting me even even though we didn't reach it. I still want to do that stuff just just to thank you guys for 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 being so awesome and for sticking with it and for fighting with me even when it's pointless. 
especially when it comes to the system. So what's my plan B? I've been thinking about this for a long time. You guys have always been so supportive of me and, and, and I think it's it's absolutely amazing. I really was completely surprised when I saw how many of you were concerned and like really wanted to help. Um, and like we're offering, and not just because of my mom, but a lot of you were even offering, you set up a donation so we could, so we could help you buy your PS3. And I was like, wow, you know, really? It's not about pride. It's really not about that. It's not about pride where I'm just like, no, I won't do it. No, it's not about that. That's not who I am. It's about, I feel like I don't want to take advantage of my position. Now, I know I'm not a huge YouTuber or anything. I'm nowhere near. But... Um, I am growing, and I do have a lot of people that would, like, freaking send me money to buy a PS3. And that's awesome. I, I freaking, I, I think that's, that's amazing. But I don't want to take advantage of it. Since this procedure that my mom needs is extremely important, like I already explained, um, I don't, I, 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 we're really in a, in a position where we can't deny the help that we could get. I'm not going to ask for money. I'm not. But if you want to donate, if you want to help out for this cause, for my mom, for her treatment, um, I will make it accessible. I will make it possible. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to set up a PayPal donations. I'm still going to research it a little bit more because there's some things that I'm not too sure about and that kind of thing. And I want to make it secure for, not just for me, but secure for you guys as well. Um, so yeah, not until I'm entirely sure how it works and, and what's the best way to do it, go about it. Uh, I will let you guys know and so that, you know, that, that option is there. If you guys want to help, then you, you, you have that opportunity to help. If you don't want to or if you can't, that's completely fine. That's completely fine. But yeah, I just thought, you know, King of the Web, web isn't working out. I thought, it, this is it, you know, this is my chance, this is our chance. Um, to do something uh, that is really needed and have you guys involved in it too because I know a lot of you want to help me and just, you know, feel like we fought for it and we got it. Um, but unfortunately it's not really, uh, it's not turning out the way what, the way it, sh it could be and it has nothing to do with you guys. It has to do with the system, really. It always does. It always comes down to who you know unfortunately. So yeah, that will be a possibility soon. I will let you guys know exactly when or what or I will let you guys know. I'll make a video um, regarding that when I when I decide to do that. But it will only be a donation for my mom, my mom's treatment. Uh, it, it, once we have enough for her treatment, I most likely will shut it down. Because um, I, 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 like I said, I don't want to take advantage of this. Um, I don't want to take advantage of you guys. Let, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll think a lot about it. And um, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas or anything like that, let me know. Because I'm always open for suggestions. Another thing that's related to this topic that I really need to talk about. A subscriber, um, his name is Charles. I always forget his the, the, numbers to, the numbers attached to his name, his username. So I'll put his, uh, his name somewhere around here so you can see. Um, he... He's a subscriber of mine, and he's a very kind person. He wants to help, um, especially people that uh, are struggling and somehow. He, he really, really, he really becomes, like, he really gets concerned, and he really wants to help. He wants to do something to help. It's just his personality. Um, and I, th I think that's freaking amazing that there are people like that. Um, and I'm just realizing that there are more people out there like that than I actually realized. So... That's that's even better. So what he did was, inspired by my situation um, with my mom and all that, and what she's going through, he started. He 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 wanted to really help out somehow, and he he started like this fundraiser online. Now I, I'm not going to explain this very well. That's why I asked him to do a video to explain this. So uh, I'm going to put the link in the description if you could take just a few minutes and just check out his video explaining this. But what he did is he set up like this fundraiser online that he he, he put up um, to support uh, this website uh, or a research, this research, this bone cancer research. I will provide all the links in the, in the description. He set up this website, uh, this like little fundraiser thing where he supports this bone cancer research and uh, the money goes there. 
So he's like a fundraiser. So I, I just really felt like I needed to talk a little bit about it in honor of that, you know, to show my uh, um, my appreciation. Um, and I just wanted to, you, you guys to, to check it out. I, I know a lot of people can't can't donate and they, they, they just don't have the money. I completely understand how, what that's like. You know, just do whatever you can to to, to promote this because it is, it is going to a good cause. For those of you that don't know too much about bone cancer, um, my mom is, she had breast cancer that metastasized in the bones, that went to the bones. For those of you that don't know too much about bone cancer, it's horrible. Not as in, oh my god, it's going to kill you. No, but that's probably one of the things that makes it so horrible for the sufferer is that it doesn't really kill you immediately. It breaks you apart first. So yeah, if you guys um, could just check that out, I'll, I'll have the links in the description. I just, I felt like I really needed to to do this to show my appreciation um, for Charles, to do, for, for his concern, for his, for his, um, time for his dedication for his money that he's he's putting into all of this um and yeah it just means a lot so yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about in this video just really quickly i do have a bunch of other videos that i want to make board of awesomeness will come soon finally i will be doing the gears of war book three review uh as soon as i get this whole thing figured out the whole thing about my editing software what else do I have on here? I'm reading the uh, the Silent Grove. I will be doing a review of this soon. I also want to do some more Dark Dark Souls video videos, but more like like a strategy guide oriented video because I really really like this game and I really want to continue. But if I don't put effort and like dedication into it, I really I'm not gonna survive because <laughs> it's so hard. Um, but it's kind of like this. It's just one of those things, you know, where you're just like I'm gonna beat this. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I also want to do a video regarding Darksiders. Kind of like preparing for Darksiders too, because uh, for those of you that haven't played Darksiders or whatever, I'm still playing it right now, but I should be done by the time Darksiders 2 comes out. And I just, I'm, just, I'm enjoying the game so much, so I really want to do a, vi a video uh, about Darksiders. Yeah, I've got a bunch of other stuff uh, planned. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.